create a new project in Godot, select 2D. Let's go to project, project settings, input map. I'm going to add in move up, move down. Just type in hit enter, move left, move right, and shoot. Come down to the bottom here, scroll down. Next to move up, click add event key, W for up, S for down, A for left, and D for right. And then for shoot, I'll click mouse button, leave it at a left button, click add, and then close. Come here, click kinematic, type in kinematic body 2D here under add node here. And then with this selected, I'll double click this. Let me change the name to player there. And then with it selected, click it again, type in search for collision shape 2D, and then come to the shape property, click that circle shape, click it again, set the radius to 20. Click player, click add, sprite, drag and drop in the art assets, and I'll just drag in the shoulder image onto the texture property, select the player again, add in raycast 2D, click enabled, set the cast 2 to 2000 for the X and 0 for the Y. Click the player, click add script, create clear most of this out here, go full screen, and start, create a constant for the move speed, move it 300 pixels per second, get a reference to the ray cast, and then the ready function, which is called once at the beginning when the game is first loaded, will wait one frame and then call in the zombies group set player method, I'll explain that later. physics process called once every physics frame which happens independent of frame rate. This is where you want to put any movement handling code. Create a blank vector called move vector. This will handle which direction we move in. Add in input check if we're pressing move up. We want to subtract one from the, the y component of the move vector. In Godot, negative is up, in 2D at least. Repeat this for the other three directions except using X component for left and right. Then normalize the vector so we don't move faster when we're going diagonally. Call move and collide. So we're going to move in the direction of move vector times our move speed times delta, which is the time between this frame and the previous frame. Now for turning calculate the look vector, which is just going to be vector pointing from ourself to the mouse position. So we just subtract the mouse position by our own position. And then calculate the rotation by taking the arc tangent of that vector and setting our own rotation to that. Then for shooting, check if we just press the shoot button. If we did, get the collider of whatever a raycast is pointing at, check if the raycast is colliding with it, and if that collider has a kill method, and if it does, call the kill method. And then finally add our own kill method, which just reloads the current scene. Control S, save. Go back to the world. Add a new scene here, and you can move around here by clicking the middle mouse button and zoom in. Click it and drag, and then zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. So repeat most of the same process. Name this one zombie, and set the radius to 30, and use the zombie texture. Set the cast to do 50 and 0, and also you can go into move mode here or by pressing W select the sprite and drag it so it's right in the middle there also want to do that on the player save with control S on the zombie add script repeat most of the same code here move at 200 pixels per second and we'll have a reference to the player which is initialized as null. So in the ready, 
will just add it to the zombies group. So on the first frame of the game loading, all the zombies will be added to the zombies group. Go back to the player here. The first frame, the player is going to wait one frame. And then the second frame of the game, it'll call the set player function and all the zombies. So that's just so they all get added before that gets called. Then in the physics process, we're going to check if the player hasn't been set yet. Don't do anything. Next, we want to get a vector pointing to the player. So just take the player's position, subtract it by the zombies, and then normalize that. Then calculate the rotation to that direction by taking the arc tangent of that vector. And then move in the direction of the player. And then if the ray cast of the zombie collides with something, get that collider of whatever it's hitting, check if the name is player, and if it is, call the kill method on it. And add our own kill method, which just deletes this object. And set create the set player method, which takes one parameter and sets the player reference here to that parameter. So if you go back here, you'll see this is called on all zombies, and it's being passed self, which in this case will be the player object. Then save this scene on full screen. Create a new scene, blank node 2D here, call it world, instance player, and one zombie, and then drag them into the scene with the zombie selected, control D to duplicate, save this. Go to Project, Project Settings, General, Run, Main Scene, click the folder icon, File, and then select World, Save, hit Play, and it should work. If I get touched, the scene restarts. If I point and click at one of them, they die.